the role of an educational psychologist is the, the combination of the assessment and the interventions, how you can support the child or young person in uh, meeting their needs and actually making a success of their lives. The, the settings that I'll be working in can really vary because we, we work um, with children and young people from the ages from zero all the way up to age 25. A typical day, there isn't really one, and that's a fantastic thing about this job, that um, ev every day will look slightly different. What I should add also is that we're really passionate about getting the views of that child or young person within that. It's really about making sure that they're seen as a, a real agent for change, that they're not just this passive thing which is happening to them, that they really have a voice in this whole process. Building a positive relationship with other educational psychologists as well as other psychology assistants and having those good relationships with teachers and families and the child or young person you're working with. I think you get out and about a lot, so it's really interesting to get out there and meet lots of different people and work in lots of different settings. Lots of learning, lots of reflection on what you've done, because sometimes you walk out of a situation and think, what went well, how could I have improved on it? And you can always talk about that with your supervisor or another member of staff, and then I think it makes you become really reflective in what you do to consider you know, how to become better all the time. I'd also say, being able to shift the thinking of the adults around the child because um, a lot of the time adults are so used to being with a child and dealing with you know whether it be behavior or the learning needs on a day-to-day -day basis that they sometimes find it difficult to kind of step out of that and see things for looking from the outside in and being able to help adults think about a situation differently really gives me satisfaction. How could we build on that? Having those kind of solution focused conversations and then seeing that light bulb moment go on and kind of bringing people together to say you know what actually there is a shared conversation here which we can all acknowledge and that we can all work from that that to me is really powerful and I really enjoy that.